plastic. What a lot of rubbish. Well, the pupils here at Loth Island were collecting the, the plastic that they used over the course of the entire week last week and they've been sorting through it, working out what is single use, what's reusable, what can be recycled, what can't be recycled. In total, there was 1,249 pieces of individual plastic. It, it's an awful lot of pieces of plastic when you kind of put it all together and the people see it collated, but I'm not surprised that most of it is single use plastic. We've got such a throwaway culture nowadays that that was kind of to be expected. Oh, I think it's really important for all the children to kind of get involved because plastic is such a massive issue and a lot of my classes were learning about microplastics and the effect it's having on the environment and it's such a worldwide issue. Food wrapper, non-recyclable. A lot of people think that it's okay to use single-use plastic as long as I'm recycling it but 35% of what they collected wasn't able to be recycled at all which means it's headed straight for landfill. Um, a lot of this plastic is what's escaping into our environment and working its ways into our rivers and oceans. It's paper, so that's recyclable. So all to do from S1 to S6 in the senior school and also the junior school have been getting involved in collections. People have been going out at lunchtime and collecting um, like litter picking and that sort of thing. So it's been you know really great to see all of them kind of banding together and sort of joining in in the help to kind of get rid of all the plastics. There is a, almost the same amount of recyclable and non-recyclable, and most recyclable were single-use. When we were recycling, we found that a lot of it was contaminated because it wasn't cleaned, and that way it went to general waste instead of recycling. So you've got to make sure it's clean before you, you put it in the recyclable bin, otherwise it can't be used and recycled. Three, the band, the bottle, and the, and the lead, the band, and the plastic label. Coffee cups, single-use coffee cups and plastic bottles are two of the areas where the pupils can have an instant impact on the plastic footprint that they have here at the school by simply switching them out for a reusable coffee cup or a reusable water bottle. Food tray times two. Oh, yeah. Recyclable. Sometimes it's very difficult for an individual to recognise the difference that they themselves can have um, by going plastic free, but when you put it all together, it's a huge amount. Plastic free is achievable, but it's going to take a lot of work and everyone needs to be on board.